All right, what's up everyone, I'm Faloki, and today we're going to be taking a look at a preview of the Week 16 matchup between the 10-4 Seattle Seahawks and the 9-5 LA Rams. This is going to be a very interesting game to say the least. Not only is this obviously going to be a very intense and probably very competitive game between the Seahawks and the Rams, they always find a way to be very competitive, very entertaining games, but this has a lot of meaning when it comes to the Seahawks for the playoffs. They either win this game and continue their chance to get the number one seed, but that would rely on the Saints losing their next game in week 17 and the Packers losing to the Bears, which honestly isn't that plausible. However, we could lose this game on purpose, try to get the fifth seed and play the NFC East winner, which would probably be the easiest matchup in the playoffs, but we would never really get a home field advantage. So there's a lot of decisions that can be made during this game. Now, of course, when it comes to any divisional game, you want to win that game. And since the Rams won the first matchup against the Seahawks pretty convincingly, we do not want to lose this game because you don't really want to go 0-2 against a divisional opponent. However, seeing as though the Saints most likely aren't going to lose next week and the Packers, I cannot think that they'll ever lose to the Bears, I, I don't think we're getting the number one seed. And if we maintain the number three seed with the Saints still winning and the Packers winning out, then we're most likely going to be playing a pretty difficult teams, either the Bucks, the Rams, or the Cardinals. So there's really no easy teams if we do win the NFC West. But if we lose the NFC West and we find a way to get above the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we'll get the fifth seed and we'll play probably the Washington football team or the Giants, whoever wins the NFC East. But I think that'd be a much easier matchup than anything against the Rams, the Cardinals, or the Buccaneers. So honestly, I don't really know what we should do for this game. I want to win this game because it's against the Rams, it's a divisional opponent, and it's going to be a very competitive game, probably one of the better games this year, just, you know, having fun watching the game. But when it comes to going to the playoffs, there, there are some big things that come from this game. With a win in this game, the Seahawks would clinch the NFC West, so they'd be guaranteed to have the three seed or higher. Maybe Maybe the one seed, maybe the two seed, you know, most likely not the one seed, but you know, it, it would win us the NFC West and that'd be a pretty good thing to see because I mean, the NFC West is a great division with a lot of talented teams. So if we can win the NFC West, that's a pretty big accomplishment, but you know, this is going to be a very interesting game. I think this will be a fun game to watch. Most Rams Seahawks games are, I think it's going to be a lot better than the first matchup because the first matchup, we had a lot of injuries and really we just got completely dominated. We didn't have a run game and now Chris Carson, Carlos Hyde and Rashad Penny are back. So it's going to be really nice to see those guys. And we had a couple injuries on the offensive line as well, which we still have a couple injuries going on with the offensive line. But I, I, I definitely do think there's going to be a much better game for the Seahawks than the last game. But really, if we lose this game, I think we strive for the fifth seed. But before we get into winning and losing for playoff seeding, let's talk about the injuries real quick. The Seahawks are dealing with a couple injuries, nothing too crazy, but definitely some pretty important guys. Brandon Shell is questionable for this game and Mike Upati is doubtful. Brandon Shell has been someone who's been injured the past few weeks, so we really don't know what's going to happen with him. He is questionable. He could play. He could not. Mikey Potty, that's a pretty big loss. That's a really good veteran on the offensive line for us. DJ Dallas is going to be out for this game, but with Chris Carson, Carlos Hyde, and Rashad Penny all healthy for this game, I don't really think it's that big of an issue. Of course, DJ Dallas, you don't want to see anyone injured, but right now our running back group is very healthy and it's really nice to see. And when it comes to the Rams, they only have one injury going into this game, but it's definitely a very important guy. It's Cam Akers, their rookie running back, who has been absolutely amazing this season. Of course, they have a lot of great running backs on their team. They're basically a running back by committee, but Cam Akers have really seem to become that number one guy and him being out this week is definitely going to be a big loss for the Rams. But really, aside from Cam Akers for the Rams and a couple offensive line injuries for the Seahawks, these are going to be two pretty healthy teams going up at each other, almost full strength teams. And honestly, I think this is going to be a great game. Greg Olson is going to be coming back for this game. And that's absolutely amazing to see that injury that he had just four weeks ago, I believe was not a good looking injury. People thought the season was over for him, but he came back really quick and he's going to be back in time for the playoffs. I still do want to see us use Will Disley a lot more. And I was pretty disappointed last week that Colby Parkinson didn't really get too many opportunities, but still, I think that our tight end group is just getting stronger with Greg Olson coming back. I don't really want to see him be the number one guy just yet. I want to still see Will Disley as a number one guy since Greg Olson, he's going to have to try to work his way back into games. But I mean, going into the playoffs, it will be nice to have Greg Olson back because I mean, he's a talented veteran that can catch the ball no matter how bad his missed catch against the Patriots was that ended up in a pick six, which lost me my fantasy game. But really, this is a game of familiar foes. The Seahawks know the Rams, the Rams know the Seahawks. They play each other two times a year and the Rams are basically always the same team that they will be. They're gonna be a great defensive team and a great running team. Jared Goff, kind of inconsistent, but he can have his days where he goes off. The Seahawks are always gonna be a pretty good defense, which right now their defense is on a roll. They're killing it in the sack production 
and they're just playing good football right now. Russell Wilson hasn't played too great. He hasn't been in the early season form that he was back, obviously, in the early season. But he's been playing well enough, and the run game has really been getting going. So Russell Wilson hasn't had to do those, you know, 300, 400 yards with five touchdown things because our run game's doing really well. We're able to run some time off the clock, and we're able to put together some long possessions, and that's something that we're going to have to do for this game. The Rams are a really well-disciplined team. They play really good defense. Of course, they get some great pass rush, so we're not really going to be able to have those long developing plays. And they also have a really good secondary, and they're well-coached. They're not going to be able to make those big mistakes. Maybe they'll make one or two big mistakes, but if they do, do make those mistakes we really have to make them pay because the Rams aren't going to make many mistakes defensively maybe Gerald Goff will make some errant passes make some bad throws but I mean really this is going to be a game of both teams most likely having to put together some really long really well put together drives because the Rams defense has been playing really good they are a great defense very talented and honestly I don't really see us getting any of those 50 60 yard you know touchdown plays just free one yard big mistake defensive plays you know but i i don't see the rams making those plays either on us you know i i think they'll have some good runs i think they'll have some good passes but i don't think that either team is really going to be making some huge plays i think both defenses have been playing really well recently both defenses have been having some pretty good pass rush production recently so this is really going to be a pretty long, pretty, it might be a boring game, honestly, because there's probably going to be a lot of six, seven, eight minute drives from both teams just trying to put together drives, but you know, two really good defenses going at it. A few weeks ago, looking forward to this game, I wasn't too excited. I was kind of worried about this game because especially against the Giants, it didn't really look like we were able to put together long drives. And the first time we played the Rams didn't look like we could put together long drives. We were struggling. It seemed like we relied way too heavily on the big plays and Russell Wilson, I mean, he tried to make those big plays, but they just didn't work against the Giants, didn't work against the Rams. And hopefully this week we will kind of go in with the same mentality, the same game plan, the same play style that we had against the Washington football team. I think that worked really well. Get the ball out of Russell Wilson's hands quick. Don't let him get hit too many times. And really, we shut down Chase Young that game. He didn't. He wasn't able to do too much because we kept the we kept the ball away from him. We got the ball out of Russell Wilson's hands quick. And I really like to see that. We put together some really nice drives in the second half. We definitely slowed down against the Washington football team. But I definitely think that going into this game. The, the, the momentum that we have against that Washington football team, that game was a really well put together game and that's probably going to be a similar game to how the Seahawks play this week. Nothing too flashy, no huge plays, just some very well put together drives, some really nice run plays. Maybe we get a big play here and there, but it's most likely going to be a big run play rather than a big 50 yard passing touchdown where there's just a blown coverage because, you know, like the Washington football team, there's really not going to be too many blown coverages with the Rams because they're just a really well coached team. They're not going to make too many big mistakes. But I 100% think this is going to be a very interesting game. And I think the Seahawks are going to be coming into this game looking to clinch the division. And, you know, no matter how much it might hurt us in the playoffs, because we'll be playing a much more talented team if we do end up winning the division. I, I think the Seahawks are a team that want to win the division because they want to pride themselves on winning they want to be the best team they can possibly be, the best record they can possibly be, even if that means they're going to be playing a much more difficult opponent in the playoffs in the first round. The Seahawks might be going into this game much healthier than the first game against the Rams, but this is 100% still going to be an insanely difficult matchup. The Rams are a top 10 running team. They're just a really good offense when they can run the ball well. And defensively, they're one of the best teams in the league. They're easily a top five defense, maybe even a top three, maybe even a top one. You know, it really depends on who you ask, but they are an amazing defense. Aaron Donald is just a problem. Jalen Ramsey just shuts down basically anyone who goes on him. DK Metcalf in the last matchup against Jalen Ramsey was just completely shut down and hopefully DK Metcalf can get you know some production this week hopefully he can get you know 50 60 maybe even 100 yards maybe he goes off against Jalen Ramsey really we have no idea but hopefully DK Metcalf can get something going this week and you know hopefully we can just throw to DK Metcalf because against Jalen Ramsey I know he's a great corner but you know, if, if DK Metcalf has a one-on-one -on -one in the end zone, I 100% think we throw that up. You know, put it where DK Metcalf can catch it and DK Metcalf alone. You know, let him try to get that jump ball. If he doesn't get it, it'll most likely go out of bounds. And if it is intercepted by Jalen Ramsey, if it's a really good pass by Russell Wilson, you live with that. You know, I, I would rather see DK Metcalf get some opportunities to win some one-on-one -on -one matchups against great corners rather than just, you know, not really throw to him when it's one-on-one -on -one coverage because DK Metcalf, he's huge, he's athletic. You gotta give him some jump balls. But going into this game, I'm kind of scared because, you know, everyone likes to meme teams when they lose games they shouldn't lose. Like, you know, the, the, the Steelers against the Bengals, the Steelers against the Washington football team, the Steelers against the Bills, and, you know, the Rams against the Jets. They shouldn't have lost that game. However, they did. 
And going into this week, I think the Rams are going to come into this game absolutely livid. They are going to be pissed. And they're going to come in, and I, I honestly think they're probably going to play the best football they've played this entire year, and that scares me. Because they're coming off a loss to the Jets. They have been memed for this entire week, and, and they're coming into a divisional game where this is the game that will lose them to the, the NFC West. So this game, they really need to come out and they have to win. And, and I'm scared, you know, you lose to the Jets, the most important game of the season comes up right after, you're gonna play well. You, they probably had the toughest week of practice they've had in their entire season. And this is the most important game for them in their entire season. And I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we come out here and lose because I think the Rams are just going to be on a different level. I think Aaron Donald is just going to be absolutely upset. I think everyone on the team is going to be upset. Any bad play that they make, you know, they're going to think about, you know, oh, last week we got destroyed by the Jets. You know, we can't lose again. We can't lose again. And, and I, I'm honestly scared for the Seahawks sake. I think Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, I think the offense is going to come out. I honestly think the entire team is going to come out absolutely upset and they're going to play out of their minds and you know this might be the first time that i might have to predict a loss because i i really don't see a reason that the rams come out and they're not 100 ready to just hit anybody in their way and just do anything that they can to win because losing to the jets oh, that is tough but no doubt this is going to be a very good game this is going to be an amazing game to watch i believe it's labeled as america's game of the week and it definitely should be because i mean both teams have a lot to play for the seahawks have the nfc west to win and the rams have the you know not being bullied to win you know i really this is an important game for both teams and this is two great teams these this is a great rivalry every single time the Rams play the Seahawks they're always great games you know last year both games that we played last year were absolutely amazing just super entertaining the last game that we played in the beginning of the year or earlier on in the year wasn't that great you know it was pretty boring the Seahawks just didn't do good but this game I think this game is going to be very entertaining I think it's going to be mainly defensive matchups since it's two really good defenses and you know the, the Seahawks haven't been a great defense but they're they're starting to get on a roll they're starting to look a lot better now that people are healthy and people are playing together but uh I, this is going to be a great game 100 a game that everybody should watch Seahawks fan or not and I hope everyone watches this game and you know even if the Seahawks lose I think it's going to be a very good matchup and I think I mean even if the Seahawks lose it's not going to be as bad as the last time we played them I think it's going to be a competitive game, especially since it is a Seahawks home game this time. But with all that out of the way, we know the Rams are an amazing team. We know the Seahawks are an amazing team. We know the Rams lost last week to the Jets, and if they lose this week again, they're just going to continue to get bullied. So they need to win this game. The Seahawks, if they want to win the NFC West and have a chance to get the number one seed, they have to win this game. So both teams are going to come out and be absolutely insane. They're going to play great, most likely. I'd assume both teams are going to be playing at the top of their game. And I don't know if that's going to be offensively or defensively, but I, I think this is going to be a game where whoever scores the most wins, just like every other game, but more of you know, what I mean. It's going to be a defensive game. Whoever can make the most out of the opportunities, the limited opportunities to score, it, it's going to be very fun to watch. If you like defense, I assume this is going to be a defensive game, and it's going to be fun because, I mean, the Rams are going to be upset. The Seahawks have a lot to play for. It, it's going to be a great game. And I really don't want to predict this game because I think both teams can easily win this game. I, I would say it's going to be low scoring, maybe a 24-21, maybe 27-24. to I, I mean, this is going to be a great game. Either team can win. I think it's going to be a very close, basically game-winning field goal or an overtime field goal, something like that. And honestly, I, I would expect the Rams to miss a field goal this game because it just seems like every single time the Seahawks play the Rams and it comes down to a late game field goal, the Rams miss and the Seahawks make it. So, I, I mean, I'm going to predict 27-24. I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope to God the Seahawks win, but I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if the Rams win. This is going to be a great game. I'm going to have a great time watching it. And if the Seahawks lose, I honestly won't be that too disappointed because if we win next week, I believe... We will get the fifth seed and we'll play whoever wins the NFC East, depending on if the Bucks lose or win. So if we lose this game and then we win next week and the Bucks lose next week because they absolutely destroyed the Lions this week, I think we play the NFC East. 
I think, I hope, I really do hope we play the NFC East. But I mean, if we win this game, we're probably playing the Buccaneers and I'm terrified. But with that, that's going to do it for this video. And now that I think about it, we wouldn't play the Bucks if we win this game. We'd actually play the Rams because the Rams would be the sixth seed and they couldn't actually go above the Bucks. So we'd play the Rams if we won this game. That would be absolutely amazing. If we win this game, then it would be a game of the playoffs. To, to, to win the season series of three games. That would be absolutely amazing. And we'd probably lose. So I honestly think we win this game. And then we win the next game. And then we play the Rams again in the playoffs. And it's going to be really entertaining. We'll probably lose. But it's going to be a fun game to watch. You know, that'd be sick. That'd be, that'd be super fun to watch. So I hope we win this game now. You know, I was thinking we lose this game. We go and play the NFC East. But I hope we win this game so we can play the Rams for a third time and take the season series or lose. I don't know. But with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And with that, like I said before, thank you for watching. Have a great day.